Ah, there you are, Mr. Worthing. I have just been reviewing your written communication to Lord Bracknell and I regarding your qualifications to marry our daughter, Gwendolyn. In the main, your statement is acceptable. I see that you are 29 years of age, have an income of between seven and eight thousand a year, that you own a country house as well as a townhouse. This is a very good thing. A girl with such a sweet and unspoiled heart as Gwendolyn could not conceivably reside in the country. And I see here that you readily admit to knowing nothing. As to this last, I'm quite pleased to read it. I don't approve of anything that can Natural ignorance. Ignorance is like a delicate exotic fruit. Touch it and the bloom is gone. The entire theory of modern education is actually radically unsound. Fortunately, in England, at any rate, education produces no effect whatsoever, so it doesn't matter. However, this last structure is worth it. Yes. I see that you were found as an infant in a handbag in the courtroom at Victoria Station and a, consequently, an orphan. I must confess to be somewhat bewildered by this statement and to be born in any rate bred in a handbag. It seems to me to display contempt, perhaps for the ordinary decencies of family life. It quite remind, remind one of the uh, French Revolution. Oh, and of course, you know what that unfortunately has been led to. As for the particular locality in which the handbag was found, a uh, cloak room at a railway station might serve to conceal social indiscretion. Oh, it probably has been used for that very purpose before now, but it can hardly be regarded as a, an assured basis for a recognized position in polite society. I would therefore strongly recommend, Mr. Worthing, that you try and acquire some regulations as soon as possible. Perhaps make a solid effort to acquire a parent of either sex before the season is quite over. You can hardly imagine, sir, that Lord Bracknell and I would dream of allowing our only daughter, a girl brought up with the utmost care, to marry into a cloaked room and form an alliance. Good morning, Mr. Worthing.